So this is a quick video of my attempt to upgrade my old server with old hardware that was slightly better than it had before. So we're just gonna take a look at the performance of Unraid before and after this upgrade and uh, determine if upgrading old hardware with old hardware is actually an option. All right, so let's uh, do some tests. So this is a read test uh, right from the server to my laptop via SMB. Uh, keep in mind, all these tests are being performed without using the right cache or the right cache drives. Obviously for read, it doesn't make a difference, but for writing, we're writing directly to the arrays. Um, so you can see there, that's a uh, fairly decent saturating the gigabit connection. Um, now this first test we're gonna do with turbo write off. So this is reconstructive write turned off. And as you can see, I'm getting around that 30 to 60 megabyte per second mark, which to me is no good. So what I figured I would do is I would try turning on turbo write and see if that made a difference. So that's in your settings and it's, it's called reconstructive write. If it's set to auto, that means it's off basically. So we're gonna do the same test again, this time with reconstructive write turned on. And you'll notice almost right away that the speeds are quite a bit more consistent. So now the next step is to upgrade the CPU and RAM. So we're gonna go from 20 gigs of RAM to 48 gigs, and we're gonna go from two quad core processors to two hex core processors. Now keeping in mind that these upgrades are from the same era. So we're not actually talking like quad core from 2011 to quad or hex core of 2020. So we're, we're, we're just upgrading um, with hardware from the same era. And what I was able to do was find a set of um, X5675 CPUs, I believe. Uh, I will we'll confirm at the end of the video, which is which. Um, and uh, yeah, then upgrade to 48 gigs of RAM. And I, I suspect the RAM is actually gonna help us a lot more than the CPUs, but these were fairly cheap on eBay, so I figured I would do all of it. So we're almost done. I may have put on a little bit too much goop, but who's really looking at that? Okay, so let's do some more tests. First of all, we're gonna do reconstructive write off. So this is where before we were getting 30 to 60 megabytes per second. Now you can see almost right off the bat, our write performance is way better than it was. As you can see from the disk usage up at the top right, you can see reconstructive write is indeed turned off because it's only reading and writing to the one disk and the parity drives. So you can see that's pretty stable. I'm a little bit more happy with that, but you'll notice the write speed on the disks does not really line up with the write speed in the Windows dialog. Okay, so here's the test with reconstructive write turned back on. As you can see, the results are virtually identical. So now that our standard write speeds are the same as reconstructive write speeds, I would say we successfully have improved the performance. I think the RAM made the biggest difference here. So here's a check with reading and writing at the same time. And I've got my Grafana uh, dashboard open there so you can kind of look and see what's going in and out of the server to confirm that what you're seeing in the Windows dialogs is actually correct. So as you can see, we're not hitting a perfect 113 megabytes per second, but overall, these results are actually pretty good. So I would say the upgrade was very successful. So taking a look at the dashboard, you'll notice um, the RAM usage, memory usage there. Every time I initiated a transfer, our, our cached RAM increased substantially. So basically back to what I was thinking about the RAM um, making the biggest difference here is I believe it is caching the, uh, the transfer data in the memory before writing to disk 
which is why when reconstructive write was turned off, we were only seeing about 40 to 50 megabytes per second writing to the disk. However, our um, write speed in Windows was showing, and, and our network speeds were showing the full gigabit connection. So basically what I have gotten out of this is, yes, you can make a difference by upgrading quite simply your RAM. So to recap, we went from 20 gigs of RAM to 48 gigs. We went, went from dual quad-core CPUs to dual hex-core CPUs. And uh, we've noticed a substantial improvement in write speeds directly to the array. Now, a big point or, or a point here is that we're not actually seeing improved disk write performance. We're, we're seeing improved network write performance. So if you're in my situation where you're not writing a ton to your, your array and you're primarily using um, Windows uh, to, to read and write to it, then like over the network, upgrading your RAM probably is actually a really good starting point. Um, but if you're transferring from disks to disks within your Unraid server, I don't believe these upgrades would make that big of a difference. Um, I haven't been able to do any testing on that yet, but I figured I'd start with uh, SMB Samba performance because I feel like that's probably what a lot of people use their Unraid for. Uh, anyway, so I'm pretty happy with this. Um, this little upgrade it didn't cost much, and uh, I think it will uh, serve me quite well. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.